Hey everyone, it's John here and in this video we're going to take a look at the dashboard that you can build in my new dashboard Excel course. So a lot of people have asked what exactly is your new course about and the short answer is that you'll learn exactly how to build this dashboard here step by step. So let's take a quick look at some of the features of this dashboard. So here we have some slicers and timelines that are going to allow us to interact with our dashboard and drill down to particular months or years or particular videos, etc. So for example, right now our dashboard is displaying just December 19, but we can take a look at a different month here. And then our dashboard is going to update to display November 2019. Now we can also look at longer periods. So we could look at October to December. And again, now our dashboard is displaying all the data for October to December. Now we also have these slicers and it's pretty similar functionality. So we can drill down to particular videos. So for example, we can take a look at this particular video here. And our dashboard is going to update to just show the data based on that particular video and for the month of October. Let's just clear that filter out. And let's just take a quick look at what's in this dashboard. So we have a couple KPI data cards up here that we'll learn how to build. And these are just going to display a single value. So for example, in this one, we're looking at watch time of all the videos on the How to Excel YouTube channel. And that way you can quickly see that in October 2019, there was 470,000 minutes of videos viewed. And we can also see that was an increase over the last month of 76%. And then this graph here in the background just displays the watch time over the entire month. So we have a graph of the entire month of the watch time. And then we can also compare that to the previous value. So this blue graph here is the previous month's watch time graphed as well. And we have a couple of these. So we have things for the different metrics that we're interested in. So we can look, take a look at views, likes, comments, shares, etc., on my YouTube channel. Now we also have a couple different types of graphs down here that we'll learn how to set up in the dashboard course. And we also have some tables down here that display dynamically the top 10 countries and the top 10 videos. So in this dashboard course, we learn how to create this dashboard from start to finish. So we start with the raw data in CSV files and then go through step by step to build out this dynamic dashboard. And along the way, we're going to learn how to use some very key tools that you can use to build your own dashboards. So all the stuff that we learn how to build this specific dashboard, you're going to be able to apply to your own data, whether it's sales data or HR data, you can build a similar dashboard. Now, some of the tools we touch on in this course is going to be Power Query. So we're going to learn how to import our data that we need into Excel in an automated way. And, and then we're also going to learn how to transform that data if we need to into the format we need. For this dashboard, our data actually comes in multiple tables. And we're also going to learn how to use Excel's data model feature to build relational data sets so we can analyze multiple tables in a single dashboard. We're also going to take a look at DAX measures so these are additional calculations that we can add into our data model in order to calculate new items from our data. So hopefully this answers a couple questions that some people had about what they're going to learn in the course. And hopefully we'll see you in the course. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.